hello everyone so right around black friday simon says stamp had a awesome sale on their brand of products for those that aren't aware i always post sales and coupon codes anytime i find that info at my favorite crafty shops i post that in my sales and coupons page on my blog my blog is always the first link directly below the videos and then the sales and coupons page is always right below my blog banner it'll say like about yada 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 sales and coupons you can click on that and i update it frequently every time i hear about it you know find a new coupon code or hear about a sale whatever i also share sales on my um, prairie paper and ink facebook page because um, some of them a lot of times are time sensitive so like the black friday one it was for one day only etc things like that so now that i've got that out of the way i of course ordered several um goodies from that sale so i got the larger simon acrylic block i like their acrylic blocks because i like that they actually have like the grid lines they're not just like one line or three it's actually got like grid lines on it so i picked that up because i have a smaller one here yeah i have the smaller one and i really like it so i got the larger one as well so this is like i think the two and a half inch and this is the three and a half inch so yeah got that one and i finally got my hands on the um let us rejoice stamp set i just i love this floral image so much and i love the sending big hug sentiment and thank you and best wishes and then you can even add like a bow to it if you want i just think it's so pretty so got that i also got the leaves background so their backgrounds are um on cling foam and I really like with their backgrounds, like the red rubber on cling foam. And I like that their backgrounds have the image printed right on the cling foam. So you can see it immediately. So when I'm like flipping through my black background stamps, it's like, that's the one I want to use. So I picked that up as well. And okay, some of these items I'm going to leave for the very end. Because obviously, as the title says, there's going to be a giveaway. Ah. So I got that. I also picked up several um, packs of the storage sleeves. I get asked this a lot, a lot, a lot, and I mention it in many videos. Um, I generally use, the Simon says, storage sleeves to store a lot of my stamp sets, like most average size stamp sets like so will fit in these. So I use these for the bulk of my um, stamp storage. I also have, you know, like Lawn Fawn, etc. So that's what I use. So because it was all part of the sale, I picked up a few packs of those. I also got the storage pocket inserts because it's just a convenience thing. And again, on sale. But it just saves me from having to like cut down a bunch of cardstock. It's all just done. But that size, and I also got the smaller ones. I don't use these as often, but I'm wanting to make a point of storing a lot of my smaller, you know, any mini die sets mini stamp sets these are just the storage the clear pockets i like with these they have the little tab so you can actually these are a little bit heavier weight and then they have like a sealed edge to them so they're just smaller like so so you got a couple options so i got those and i also got the same thing the inserts for these as well so I'm planning on getting more organized. I don't know if it's all going to happen. I don't know. Okay. I also got several of the plush dies. I have a few of them, but I wanted to get more of them. I kind of had the idea when I was doing some shopping a while ago, I ran across some really cute Christmas ornaments just out and about. And they were really cute. I love their felt and they were really bright colors and all that sort of thing. And the prices were astronomical. I think it was at a department store. And I was like, to even have, even to get half a dozen of them would cost me a fortune. And then when the sale was going on, I was looking at all these and I was like, I don't have, you know, the elephant, the bear, etc. And I was like, I should get them and make some of my own little plushies and use them as ornaments on my Christmas tree. Those would be really cute. And my kids love these, like making characters. I posted photos on social media. So yeah, we've got the plush deer. 
So you got all the dies and it die cuts the outline and then little holes right into the felt to make it easier to stitch everything together. And then you've got all the other little elements that you can um, either sew or, you know, adhere on. And they come, these ones come on magnetic pieces and they come all separated. So you don't have to separate anything. They're already done. So I got the deer. I got the happy bear. Same thing, all the pieces are separate. And then like on the packaging too, it shows like how everything looks. So we have that. I got the sweet elephant. So cute, so cute with little like ears. Isn't that adorable? So adorable. So the elephant, I got this gorgeous, the plush bloom. I have one of the other bloom ones, but I love this one because especially I've seen some gorgeous um, people have stitched it together and then added, like during the stitching, like adding sequins and different things to the layers. So that would be really fun too. I love the size of this. So really fun. And you can use it, you know, with just one or use both or use the other. I like that. Or use just this one. Create a smaller one, you know? I like that a lot. So I got that. And then I also got the um, swirl flowers and leaves. These are just cute. I thought th these would be cute to add to some of these other ones as well as a standalone. So they're a good size. They're bigger than I thought they would be. So I really like that. So they're cuts so that you can like twist them together, create fun little flowers and then cute little leaves. So there was that. And then. <laughs> The box that all this came in was huge. And I was like, what on earth? There was this massive thing in the bottom. I ordered Simon's foam tape. This thing is huge. <laughs> it's like the size, bigger than like an LP, like a record. Those that might remember it, that might date me a little. Records were even technically before my time, but we did have a few when I was really little. But yeah, this thing is massive. Anyone familiar with the, let me see if I can get, I have one full one left out of my drawer. The big precious of scotch mounting tape. The Simon one is slightly bigger, just, just slightly, not a whole lot, but like same thing. So much bigger than you expect it to be. So this is the scotch one. This is the Simon one, and I knew before I got it, here we go, so, and the center is about the same. So, Scotch one, I love my Scotch foam tape, it's amazing, you know, and that huge roll lasts forever. I think this is my second or third one I've gone through, I make a lot of cards. But yeah, I wanted to get this one, I knew, it said on the site, the thickness of it, and I knew it was thinner than... Um, the scotch and it is and I'm actually kind of glad about that it would be I would say it's like mm, half the thickness of the scotch so if you're used to this um, again it just depends on personal preference I'm not going to use this all the time but I was thinking for sometimes when I want just that little bit of dimension you know but not really have things popped up sometimes to just trim down and pop up a sentiment you know and not have it really raised up like you do with foam tape because every once in a while it's like I would like it just popped up just that little bit not too much just a little bit so I think this will be nice for that really nice does it tear easily well it's about the same as some of the other foam tapes I've tried so you either need to like give it a really good sharp it doesn't tear quite as easily as the scotch but it's sticky like yeah I like it already I know I'm gonna be using this one quite a bit because, yeah, it'll just give elements that little extra something without adding too much bulk. And you're going to get a ton. Even if it's like picking up fuzzies on my shirt. So I'm going to keep it. comes with a plasticky thing. So I'm going to kind of keep it stored. I'm not even sure exactly where I'm going to put it. This thing is huge. Kind of makes me happy, though. That feels like, you know, I got a lot to keep me going for a long time. So... Let's put this over here. Okay, as soon as I was done filming, 
haul video. Went and got the mail and this package just arrived. I'm kind of excited about this. Simon sent these to me. I didn't get these in the December release package. These were sent later. So excited. So we've got the new snowflake tree die. This is so pretty. So pretty. Love that. And of course, I immediately think die cutting it and then backing it with some of the new glitter paper because that would look so fun. So fun. And if you really wanted to get finicky, you could inlay, you know, die cut these from glitter or just different colors, cardstock, etc., and inlay. That would be, eh, yeah, that would be a fair bit of work, I think. I would more than likely just back it just because I'm a little too lazy sometimes. So there's that one. And then this one, which is also just really pretty. This is the Sparkling Snowflakes Breeze die. And this one's just really pretty. I like that one a lot. And I like with either of these, like you could also just use them not necessarily as your like focal point. You could just die cut and use the little pieces, you know, to add little embellishments and whatnot or die cut, you know, your border or your tree and then save those pieces to decorate the rest of the card, add to the inside. Oh, he's got to finish the insides. I really like that one. And this one I think will fit across, is it? Do, do, do. Yeah, five and a half inches. So it will fit across um, an A2 size card or you could do it on an angle. Just pretty, really like that one. How's that? And then we have the picture book tree background which I kind of raved about the new picture book characters. I like this. I like the simplicity. So you could use this all year round. Like you can do it in like whites and grays, et cetera, and do like winter theme cards, but then you could also do, um, you know, spring colors, do one in fall, et cetera, et cetera, and add little like elements and stuff. So re I really like this. I'm so glad I got this. And then funny enough, Everyone was mentioning this. I was raving about the penguin picture book dies during the release. Like, that's what I had. And then I went and looked online and saw these characters. And I was like, oh my god. I actually, funny thing, I ordered these. So stay tuned because I will have another giveaway when that order arrives. Because, yeah, these are just so cute. So we've got the picture book moose because, of course, I have to have the moose. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Love it. Love it so much, so much. So there's the picture book moose. We have the picture book polar bear. So cute. So cute. And even though he's a polar bear, I'm sure you could do him in like brown too, so easily. But yeah, I like the different styles of bears. Like this one does work really well for that. The polar bear, we have a picture book hippo. <laughs> oh my goodness. So adorable. And actually, again, stay tuned. I will have a video coming out. I'm not sure exactly when I'll be able to get it all edited and uploaded, but I used a whole bunch of picture book characters, made a really fun birthday card. That will be coming in the near future, but yeah, stay tuned. We'll get back to the info on the giveaway and all that kind of stuff right now. Since everything was on sale, I ordered two of my favorite Simon Says stamp sets. I got the coffee and tea stamp set, which I have done um, a couple videos on already. And then I also got the Choose Happy stamp set. Again, use this in videos. I absolutely love this stamp set. Do things that make you happy within the confines of the legal system. <laughs> How to make me happy. Buy me coffee, make me coffee, be coffee, coffee. <laughs> so yeah, I really like that. And then this was a, just a freebie that Simon was including in all orders. It's really cute. All you need is love and cocoa. It's such a cute little stamp. So I thought I would include that with this. I am going to give this away to one of you guys. I've been saying like, stay tuned for giveaways, etc., etc. I'm getting so close to 60,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is just mind blowing. I plan on having more giveaways. And when I hit that magical little number, um, big number, I will do giveaways then as well. So yeah, that is my giveaway. The way to enter will be on my blog. Again, first link directly below the video. 
So you can check that out if you are interested. This is open to everyone. I'll just pick a winner or the little widget will pick, you know, a random winner. And I will mail these off to one of you guys. So it's just a little way that I'm able to kind of pay it forward because I appreciate you all so much. Could not do this without you guys. So that is my haul. Along with the giveaway, I'll have links to everything in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. So check that out. Make sure you check out my Prairie Paper and Ink Facebook page already if you haven't. Because um, like I said, I post sales on there and like little random things here and there that I don't always post, you know, on my blog and YouTube and whatnot. So there's always links to all of that stuff in the description box below my video as well as on my blog. That's it for me for now. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye!